Monday. Max and I are in the car. Um, just got done at the vet. Max had to get a Cytopoint injection. It's an allergy shot. Um, he was taking Apoquil, but we changed him over to the Cytopoint uh, because it's working better with the other medication he's on for his uh, black warts that we're trying to get rid of. Uh, the Apoquil suppresses the immune system some, so she was thinking that's why his black warts weren't going away um, as fast as she thought they would. Um, and so we switched him over to the Cytopoint injection, and I can I have. I can tell a big difference that the warts are starting to go away a lot faster with him having the Cytopoint injection. So it's it's working, us changing that. So, yep, we're on our, we gotta stop at the P.O. box and then we're on our way home. All right, guys, we are back from the vet, back from the P.O. box, and I wanted to share a couple uh Things I've gotten in the mail, uh, I got a couple things today, and I have some things that I've had the past couple weeks, but I haven't shared them um, just because of everything going on with Mr. Grant. So, first, I wanted to just share what Deborah and Sherry sent. Um, Sherry sent a twenty dollar donation to the Boys Green Bean Fund. Um, I don't know if Sherry also bought these things or if it was just Deborah. I'm not sure. I can't remember and I can't find the letter that they sent with this stuff. So they sent another um, snuggle puppy, the Anxiety Solution Puppy. Um, I tried the other one with Mr. Grant and he didn't really snuggle up to it, but he didn't mind it being in his crate. So I don't know if it helped him or not, but I'm curious the next time I have a thunderstorm, how uh miguel do with it we haven't had a thunderstorm lately thank goodness just just some rain no thunder so um i need to get this ready so the next time we do i can try it out with mickey and i'll have to let you guys know so thanks so much for the second one um they also sent this uh pet sprinkler so we've got to try that out still i can't try it out right now because i can't let um, Grant get his stitches wet, so we'll have to wait until his stitches are all dried up and dissolved uh, before we can try this out. I don't know if they'll run it or in it or not. We shall see. <laughs> I'll have to film it when we try it out. Um, they also sent the kitties a couple kitty toys, which I couldn't find them to share them. I think they're under a couch or under a bed somewhere. Um, they also sent the kitties a, um, it looked like a little taco with a fish in it, like a fish taco toy. And I believe it was a hot sauce kitty toy. <laughs> and they loved them. So thank you guys so much. And thank you, Sherry, for the donation to the Green Bean Fund. Um, and then Emily sent all the boys a little suitcase for our trip. It was actually a battery organizer, but you could take the styrofoam that was inside of it out and just use it like a little um, suitcase. And then she also had little uh, luggage tags with their names uh embroidered on them let me show you the inside so they'll all have their little suitcase we can put their bowl in it we could put their little their um if they take medicine we could put their medicine in these little pouches here and we could put their maybe a toy or a bone or something in here with them they're so cute so i have seven of these whoops seven of these uh little suitcases for the boys oops i wanted the tag to get up here and then everybody got their own little tag tag made she says she's having uh, mozzie's remade because the stitch i think it was because the stitching wasn't as thick on a couple of his letters so she sent one for every boy for their suitcase you're so nice and thoughtful emily <laughs> these are just adorable can't wait to use them on our trip um, I'm going to put these tags inside this suitcase so everything stays together. And she also sent a donation towards Mr. Grant's um, medical bill, so I appreciate it so much, Emily. You're so kind to the boys. Thank you. I also wanted to let um, Leslie, Leslie emailed me. Uh, she wanted to know if um, I got her PayPal donation, and I did. I hope you got my email back to you, Leslie. I did get the um, donation and we appreciate it so much. I appreciate everybody who sent a donation uh, 
do P PayPal or one person sent one on Cash App. So thank you guys so much. Uh, Emily sent cute cards too. This one to my husband. She always has the prettiest schnauzer cards. And then this one here. She wrote a little note to me. Thank you, Emily. Okay, and then the uh, mail we got today, both from... Sorry guys, my phone rang. Okay, so then we got two other packages. Um, this one is from Paul in New Jersey, I believe. Yes, New Jersey. And this one is from Paul in New York. So, all right, let me show you what they got the boys. Uh, this box is actually uh, for Mr. Grant, but he said Mr. Grant could share if he wants to. <laughs> Um, a Mr. Bill toy. We have a little Mr. Bill kitty toy. So the boys will be happy to have a Mr. Bill dog toy. And then we have this um, cow toy. But listen to this. The dogs are going to go nuts. They are going to go nuts. My boys love dog toys that make weird, like noises like that. Besides just the regular squeaky noise. They love toys like this. Oh my goodness, they're going to go nuts. <laughs> um, he also sent some treats, some uh, Perfect Trainers, which I buy because they're very low in fat. And he said his dog liked these. Uh, they're by Lucky and they're chicken wrapped treats. These are low in fat too, I checked. All right, thank you so much, Paul. Boys are going to love that moo cow. But we will let Mr. Grant see if he wants to play with the toys first. Okay, and then Paul in New York sent a ball, which my boys have. I think they have a blue or green one like this, and they love it. And I don't know where it is, so thanks so, thanks so much for sending another. Um, and then this bento ball I'm curious about. I've never seen one of these. It has a treat in it, and it says Everlasting Treat Bento Ball. Helps prevent destructive boredom behaviors. Provides hours of interactive chewing challenge. Hmm. Helps keep teeth clean, dishwasher safe. Huh. So I'm going to check, check into buying some more treats for this. This is cool. Thank you. And then also sent a rubber ducky. <laughs> They're going to love this. They have a, they have little, uh, Rubber pigs, too, that they love that they play with outside. <laughs> they heard me squeaking it. And then some crunchy chicken liver treats. It says it has five simple ingredients. Chicken liver, sweet potato, chicken meal, fresh chicken, and chicken fat. So thank you so much. The boys are going to love their new toys and their treats. Okay, I'm sorry about the weird angle and the weird lighting, but I broke my tripod and... I couldn't find a piece to my other tripod pod so my phone could fit on it. So I'm going to have to go out and buy a new tripod. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm cutting the tags off the toys and just realized that the Mr. Bill toy also doesn't have a normal dog squeaker in it. It actually says, oh, no. <laughs> Listen. Mr. Bill, if you remember, would always say, oh no, Mr. Bill. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's going to be a, um, it's going to be a fight over those toys. Yes, it is. It's going to be a fight over those toys, but we have to let Mr. Grant check them out first. Mr. Grant is sleeping right now. So we got to wait and let Mr. Grant check them out before you guys can. Yes. <laughs> All right. Mr. Grant woke up. He woke up. Yes, he still has to wear his cone. Um, his soft one I cleaned, so it's out drying. Grant, where are you going? He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I was going to show you your new toy. Grant. Grant, come here. 
Milo's dying to get the toy. I got the cow, the moo cow, and the Mr. Bill over here. <coughs> Magnum, there's nothing. <coughs> There's a kitty. There's a kitty in my flower bed. I gotta go chase him away. I gotta go chase him away. Don't you touch those toys, Milo. Alright, let's go chase this kitty away. He always goes in my flower bed. And then the dogs will not stop barking. Let's go see. Maida already ran away. Kitty, you need to get out of my flowers. <laughs> Dogs. They're like, let us chase them, Mom. Let us get them. Let us get them. <laughs> he always goes in there, hides in my flowers, and just stares at the dogs. He's probably trying to get a bird at my bird feeders. Oh, my goodness. They're howling. I can hear Milo howling. <laughs> I can hear you howling. I can hear you howling, Milo. Yeah. I chased him away. I chased him away. see if Grant's going to come out here. These dogs are dying to play. There's Merlin. Merlin says, what's all the commotion about? I'm trying to sleep. Did, did uh, Grant go back in his bed? Nope. Where did Grant go? Where's Grant at? Oh, there he is. There he is. you grant you want to see it let's see let's see what grant thinks of mr bill no 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 boys no it's for grant grant wants the mr bill <laughs> yes grant wants that mr bill he still has to wear his cone. Um, I can't keep an eye on him when he's off and in his crate. Because um, I don't want him getting out of stitches. He's going to take it to his house. And Milo, oh, and Milo's going to. Milo will pa wait patiently until Grant leaves, and then he'll steal it. <laughs> Grant says, get back. It's my toy. Come on, boys. Guess he's not going to take it in his house. Grant, you want to see the moo cow? You want to see the moo cow? No, no, Milo. No, no, Mickey. <laughs> or Monty. No. <laughs> he doesn't seem to like the moo cow. Monty wants the moo cow. Maybe he's not awake enough to play yet. Look at Milo. He's thinking, can I take it? Is he going to try to bite me? <laughs> Is he going to try to get me if I take it? <laughs> I don't think Grant wants to play with the toys right now. All right, Mozzie. Mozzie's really interested in this. There you go, Moz. There you go. Miggy, Magnum, and Milo. Oh, Milo just went under the bed with Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill's gone for a while. Milo took it under the bed. Woo! Yeah, all the youngsters always get the toys, so we'll, we'll give Mozzie it, and then we'll see if Max wants to play with it after. 
You guys are going to have to take turns with that moo cow. I'm going to have to look at the packaging and the name, see if I can find it on Chewy and order a couple more. Milo, you took Mr. Bill under the bed and then you left? <laughs> you just wanted to go hide it and now you're going to try to get the moo cow? Milo's a little stinker. All right, guys. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Oh. Yes. Tell everybody, I hope you have a great weekend. Grant is doing good. He has an appointment uh, Monday uh, to go see Dr. Pearson to just get a recheck. Check his um, incisions out. She may want to do some blood work um, to check his liver numbers, uh, the liver enzymes. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what she's going to do, but we have an appointment Monday. Um, his stitches are doing good. Except for that one spot he got to when I didn't have a cone on his head. Um, but it, it's healing. But it could be further along if he wouldn't have got to it. So that's why Mr. Grant is wearing a cone. Because we want him to heal up nicely. So whenever I can't have my eyes on him to see what he's doing, he has to wear a cone. And his, his soft cone, uh, I cleaned it. I uh, hand washed it so it's drying. So that's why he's got this one on. This isn't the one he came home with though. This is one I bought at PetSmart. Um, it's smaller. It's not as wide as that one they sent him home from the surgical center. And so, but he's doing really good. You like that Mr. Bill toy? <laughs> <laughs>